this entire thing is ridiculous. Maggie is far too young to have a car. Mr. Sheffield, you know, I understand you're a foreigner, and that's why I cut you slack when you wear dark socks and sandals. <laughs> but in this country, when a girl turns 17, she gets herself a car. Unless you come from my neighborhood. Then it's a car or a nose job. <laughs> I got the car. Miss Fine, why don't you just get a one of those Remington steel lady chic things you get everyone else? Are you kidding? She's like a daughter to me. Besides, you always get her expensive stuff. Now I can. Oh, Miss Fine, what you give my children, you can't put a price on. And yet you find six bucks an hour sufficient. <laughs> oh, Miss Fine, go into third. You've got to feel it when it's time to shift. Do I have to squeeze your leg every time? I guess I'm a slow learner. <laughs> there you go. That's the way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, 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 oh wait, 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 wait. Where are you going? Why are you turning off? Oh, no man's warehouse. Mothership. No, just, just, just drive. All right, all right. No more distractions. Shifting. Beautiful, baby. Hello. Oh, yeah. Would you just just put both hands on the wheel? Hello. Oh, Cece, hold on. I'm going to put you on speaker. Maxwell, great news. Barbara Streisand called. Oh, I'm putting you off speaker. You touch that button and I'll kill us both. <laughs> Barbara's agreed to host the benefit, but only if we do it at her house in the Hamptons. Oh my God! I can't believe I'm going to Barbara's house. No, you're not. Oh, this is the most exciting day of my life. No, it's not. Oh, Mrs. Jeffield, how can I have it? Thank you. By looking that way, look oh, out! Oh, 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 oh. Oh my God! Oh, I think I hit something. No, uh, uh, it's all right, Miss Fine. It was uh, it was just a piece of rubbish. With bunny ears and a little cotton tail. <laughs> no, no, no I, I saw it quite clearly. It, it, it really, it was uh, it was nothing. No, no, no. I know that sound. Nanny Fine killed a widow. Waska we wab. <laughs> no, B, you didn't have to come with us. Hey, I love cars. <laughs> Shouldn't you be getting ready for the contest? We don't have time to meet Miss America. Honey, I was Miss Subways. It's a professional courtesy. <laughs> oh, if word got out that I was here and I snubbed her, forget about it. It could start a whole interpageantary incident. <laughs> Tara! Hi! Friend Fine, Miss Subways, 1980, uh, 90. <laughs> oh, it's always nice to meet another pageant winner. Uh, what was your platform? Uh, 59th and Lex. <laughs> you know, we do have so much in common. I mean, we're both title holders, and, well, you can't get married for the duration of your reign, and I can't get married for the love of God. I assume you're here for the Miss Trans Am contest. Oh, is it that obvious? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Good luck to you. Oh, uh, no, Fran's the one in the contest. Oh, good luck to you. <laughs> I voted for Miss Kentucky. <laughs> Moving into our final round, the driving competition, and our current leader, Fran Fine. So sexist. I mean, what do women in swimsuits have to do with selling cars? Sir, I think we've produced one too many revivals of Mayo. <laughs> Miss Fine, start your engines. 